So I wanted to make a video about uh, the out of bounds uh, glitch. Uh, a little bit about what it is, uh, some of the applications that it's been tried to be used in. Uh, I know of it from uh, JC's uh, video, so uh, credit credit goes out to him and uh, anyone else who uh, contributed to it. Um, I kind of need to do some backtracking here. I have a save state of the out of bounds ah the out of bounds glitch activated, and uh, if I can't replicate it, I will. Um, I'll just load to it and say what. I found with it and what I would like to see uh, happen. So right now uh, I kind of need to get to the point where I can have warp and only blue has warp. I could level up Jean but I don't feel like doing that. So this is uh, my practice route for glitchless. So I'm just quickly grabbing the warp points and then I'm going to grab blue and then I'll uh, start the glitch. Oh, I also need to get some money. A lot of monies. So I'll just glitch that out as well. And I want to start the video off uh, with this to show that this is right after Whale Tunnel. This is not... No other events have taken place. This is really just being Whale Tunnel, coming on the beach. Again, well, I haven't gone to the circus or nothing like that. So give a little, I'll keep. So I'm gonna set up the switch glitch, which will allow me to get money. I probably won't get the 90,000 that you get at the beginning of the game. I'll get something. Let's see what the shop has to offer. Oh, six thousand, that's not great. Ah, uh, that's still take me a while to do the sure. It's gotta be another accessory. I'll just hold off on that. Yeah. Well, I also want to build up a township a little bit, so get to a level uh, two town. When I did the glitch the other day, I only had uh, one person recruited. It was now a level 2 town. And the level 2 town actually might have different flags set than the level 1 town. So I'm hoping to replicate the glitch so I can have a, a uh, test bed of a level 1 town and a level 2 town. I'll look at the machine for the heck of it. Again, that's another flag. I don't know if it'll change the outcome of anything. Let's 
Let's go and entering and exiting seven times to get the town to upgrade. And to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to go get the fish guy. Also, when I'm at Windy, I'm going to save. I need to save at Windy anyway. For one of the glitches. Yes. Alright. Alright, almost set up now. Just need to make my life a little bit more easier with uh, the item shop guy. I don't have the accessory that everyone can equip. I only have the fishing pole. And with the fishing pole, I can only do uh, a character one slot. What do I mean? And I'll show you in a moment. When I get a, an accessory that anyone can wear. By four bay. The menu access W free, so I just bought it to have uh, some on standby. All right, the uh, charm, charm will work. Yep. Now I just need to go to a shop. Let's go to Tunlin for that. So I need to go to the circus afterwards. All right. Everything's about done now. Alright, so if you don't know what the switch glitch is, I'm not going to explain this video, but it's well documented on YouTube. The out of bounds glitch is not as documented. And the setup is not out there easily accessible, so if nothing else, I kind of wanted this as a way to kind of show how to set up a out of bound glitch. But when you have an accessory that anyone can wear, the switch glitch can work on anyone. So, in this case, it's not just Ryu's slot, or what slot Ryu's in. So, the Moth Dagger is the highest worth item. I'm just gonna switch my party. Because I want to get about 2 million worth of coins. I don't know what affects the items, but that you see in the switch glitch. But I know it changes based on your party and where you're at in the run. Oh my goodness. When I did this the other day, I had an item that was worth 25000 It's much easier. One more quick change and then I'll just suck it up if I have to. Uh, actually, I... Oh, it's the only one I haven't had. It's pooch or nothing. Guess we're doing this long way then. Won't buy her with the. Uh, well, guess I'm almost split the mail. Not really. Uh, I'll just get. I'll just grab it later. 
Alles genau. Actually, I don't need the 900,000 coins. This is uh, for one particular strat. Back to blue, cat. Uh, actually, I'm gonna change my mind. Blue, Jean, Thran. Right, so the part of the issue, I uh, not a speed run, man. I'm trying to do the glitch here. Uh, let's see here, where's the spot? Uh, goodbye, glitchless practice route. I make a mistake. Alright, so this, when this dialogue comes up, you have to hit the direction you want to go to activate the first part of the, of any glitch, which starts the, the dialogue blocks glitch. And Charles, uh, if I'm talking and it seems out of character, I'm trying to do this also for YouTube as well. So I'm going to save it right here. But as soon as I say yes... Oh, I already messed up. I already messed up. That's why I made another save. You want the text to be on slow. That's one thing that was not mentioned to me. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, caused all kinds of issues. Mainly, huge headaches. So basically, the text goes slowly, and as long as you're holding the direction, the dialogue will not change boxes, but every time you switch um, directions, the dialogue will progress. So the dialogue's not progressing now, and when I go up, it will. This will take me a few tries to uh, get the position correctly. I already can tell I'm way off. Basically, want to get to the Oompa Loompa cave. I think it was basically at the end of this island and then go up and use gate as a reference. Gate, something like this tile. So the ha ha, that's basically, okay, I got in a fight with the dialogue still up, so I want to kill myself. Huh. I might have missed it. If you don't have enough, uh, I don't know what you would call it, like dialogue and memory, the glitch won't. It basically like cancels out your opportunity to do it. It's like a buffer strat. Now, the way I went invisible that time, 
Uh, basically, as soon as I go to land, I'll get in a fight. Or I've seen it where I've gotten into fights on water. And right now, I can't move until this dialog box happens. Actually, the game's frozen. That's what can happen. There's many different outcomes that the game freezes up or... You basically only get one shot at this because after you say yes to the to the MC Tusk, he will not uh, offer to. Uh, uh, you won't be able to do the dialogue uh, glitch, so you would have to reset. Basically, I have to hope to get in a fight with that dialogue up before the ha ha ha's. Breaking the game's fun. I have uh, saves. Oops, I tagged Ryu. I have saves where the glitch is activated if I have to resort to it. All right, forgotten. Ah, uh, now I have to. Now I have to get dinner out of the oven. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry. That's so nice of me to start streaming and then have my dinner ready. Alright. You know what, screw it. We're just going to get to the meat and potatoes of this. Basically, uh, there's two different glitches. There's one where uh, you can get an NPC to say... He'll exchange items, they'll say something like a random dialogue, like, Do you want to send to learn missile? And you're like, oh, that's awesome! But Sten doesn't really say learn missile, you just get some random item that's like a junk item. And you can in interact with different objects and you'll get different values. But it, it looks to be just a string of text. The other thing is, you can do a um, out-of-bound glitch to your save point. Which JC did, as as well as um, the other glitch where um, you get the uh, weird dialogue. JC had a brilliant idea. He was able to get into Windia through the, the back door of the castle because they didn't have uh, like a block. 
uh, you basically get in the door, but the game freezes when you talk to uh, the king of Nindia, or Nindia, of Windia. But that would have skipped so much, I would skip from the way out to, uh, boy, far up to Farmtown. But this game actually, for as bad as the programming is at times, the flags are really set well. So what I'm going to go for is the out of bounds glitch on the world map. And basically, we're going to try to get to Sky Tower, cast a time warp. And use that as a buffer to get a warp off. And it'd be just much easier to uh, explain it after it happens. Basically, while I'm trying to leave, I'm trying to exit this place and open up the menu like that. Because normally you can't be in the whale and cast a spell. The idea is to cast Time Warp, land on the beach, and the sound be faded. Have blue cast warp, and you're not supposed to be able to move after warp, but move and get into a fight before warp gets casted. So there's an RNG factor, and if you get in battle and die, and go to a statue and save the game uh, before, um, basically, if you death warp and don't save the game, or change your party, you end up uh, warping to wherever you're going, which is probably going to happen. One thing I want to do is um, save the game here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I want text to be fast again. And let's try this. Nope, not fast enough. Getting that fast enough. I think I ran out of uh, dialogue. I was late on that. Go back to that. And this is where the glitch is like so hard to get where we would need a consistent setup to even make this viable. Because again, you only get one shot and there's not much time to sit there and do resets. I could just go down instead of going up to Tunlin, but Tunlin kind of gives you a little bit more breather room with the text box. And again, you can see I'm holding up and the, the dialogue's not moving on. As soon as I switch directions, it moves on. Alright. Let's see if this will work in our favor. Again, you don't go the back to fast. It'll also mess up. Fast save. Damn it. Not having a look today, Johnny. There we go. Alright. Let's see here. Let me see my save here. But 
Well, I found out when when you don't move after uh, doing a warp, it's basically a sign that you ran out of, um, I'm going to call it like buffer overflow, but you know it's probably the wrong turn. Let's try this for a little bit more if I don't get I'm gonna to yeah uh, I am just gonna go to the potatoes. But this is at least showing how uh the world out of bounds glitch is set up. And it is from a time warp out of Sky Tower, then casting a warp and getting into a fight before warp is finally ca or finished casting. You see all kinds of weird crap going on. Basically, uh, I did this for an hour and then, and I finally got the glitch. And what I saw in JC's video, and I noticed, like right there, the audio in the game was off. Like, it, there was no sound still. But, even if I can move after the warp is casted, uh, the glitch never worked. It wasn't until when I landed off the whale, all four characters quickly moved onto the beach, like on their own. And then I was able to perform it. And that's why I noticed in uh, JC's video. Let's see here. So that didn't happen this time. Uh, I just go ahead and save it. I don't think this is going to work. Yeah. Let's just go back to the square one. That's not square one. Idiot. I'll show you just going straight down. Let's see what we got there. And every time you go in the menu, it also takes away some of the buffering. So that also um, kind of hinders the, the glitch from working. I think I'm just going to skip right to the glitch being activated. I do have it recorded just on my desktop. Yeah, we're just moving right to it. Alright, so as soon as you activate the glitch, here's where you go. You warp right to here. You get in no fights. You can activate... Um, do a safety save so I don't want to lose this state. I accident the. Uh... You got this weird looking guy. But this is all on JC's video. Uh, he just kind of roams around the water and it leaves you wondering what can you do. So, one thought I had, the original thought was, can you go through trees? And the answer is yes. 
So I was like, oh sweet, like Fog Valley. Well, I wasn't really thinking that much. As soon as you go into Fog Valley, uh, you know, it's the same thing as if you had Spar. It just wouldn't work out because you're not bypassing any flags. So the next idea I had was, um, and by the way, anytime you go into a, a town, uh, the glitch gets canceled. And I did want to test one thing out. Oh, you can't use Ram's field ability. I was wondering if I used Ram's field ability, if uh, it would knock me out of it. So the other thing was that to get to, I thought, oh, get the gate early. But again, you can do that just with Spar. I wasn't really thinking about that. So that doesn't do anything for you. This guy's like, I basically can't get into town, but he can time warp and there's no guard. But even if we save here at the statue and do a death warp later, it just doesn't do any good. There's, there's no flag set. Oh, that's how you can get here during the day. Cause I was like, well, maybe during the day, uh, the preacher will be here because, um, during the speed run, when you first come here for a huckleberry, when you're supposed to, if you come here at night, the people are not out here. So I was like, oh, maybe during the day they will be out. But so I saved that to statue and did the death warp and that wasn't the case. It, it just didn't pan out. So then really the first big idea that actually made sense was farm town. So I was like, well, you know, talk to Daisy and made that will bypass uh, high fort. Uh, the whale, or no, not the whale, the queen, high four, and memory. Oh, goodness. Ah. Uh, these walls are weird. But yeah. And if nothing else, I thought blue could have the warp for uh, farm town, which is the case. Unfortunately, uh, even though it's nighttime, basically Daisy's not here, so the story does not move on. Much like Windia, it doesn't just move the flag on. I don't know what flag sets Daisy to be on. Like you can't get in a fight with these things; it just doesn't happen. Processing. I'm thinking here. There's no statues to say. I was kind of wondering, like, if I saved it and and restarted the game, if May somehow it would like cancel out the glitch and May Daisy would be here. I don't think that'd be the case, but we can see. But yeah, we're not seeing Daisy. We're not getting fight with this stuff. So farm town ended up being a bust. And then I was like, well, what if we go to the church? Since I knew we could get through walls, I was like, I know I can get up on the church. Bust. On thing. On thing, but almost there. When we go to the church, again, this game, for whatever reason, is programmed well. Because Claire's not here to move the plot along. And then while you're here, you're like, oh, maybe I can get the charm rod. And again, mind you, if we could get the glitch consistent, you only get one choice of where in the world you go. So you can grab the char charm rod. But then we can't get up, uh, we basically can't get to uh, the Empire Sword. So that's a bust. Now the first idea that had value was to use the glitch to get uh, early access to the secret armory shop. Wherever it may be. 
access to it now. Here it is. So we could use it, Seeker Armory Shop, get it early. I don't have the money, but uh, you know, get Mother Robes, Sun Mask, Brave Armor, Skyrock our defense. But the run's not that risky. I mean, if the glitch could be done consistently, it's something that'd be purchased later on, and this could have value, maybe, but probably not. Which brings me to the mother load. This is why I made the video, because I found something that the secret armory, it's debatable, but I'm leaning more no to yes. So I went to farm town. You would think I would know how to get there better. And we can't go to Bando because again, you have to talk to um, Claris at the church. So I came to Farm Town, Blue has the war point. And I'm gonna kinda of play this how I saw it. On this file I happen to have like two golds dropped because it was my practice run and that's just the way things seem to go. And I need the quit fighter armor. Because my characters will get owned. Actually, I need uh, I need that Jean guy. Oops. Okay. So I grabbed Jean, Lou, Ran, and basically I wanted uh, uh to be able to roll and hop uh, my way down. Down to what? Well, you see here in a moment. Gears by now, I'm gonna save him. All right, yes. So basically, we can get, um that has changed the uh, party. Uh, this is kind of hard because it's, it's a, my glitch list and I didn't have this set up properly. That's where I was trying to redo the glitch real quick to have money and uh, have better armor for this uh, section. But as you can see, I failed at that. Alright, that's what I want. So, by going to farm town, there's always the extra gold coin, which in the normal run you don't get. But we can get the, the manual to um, appear and uh, use uh, Jean to hop there, which gives you access to brave armor um, and uh, what else? A uh, spear rope. Oh, Medusa shield. Alright, so let's see this. Sorry. Yeah, that works. Let's see if I can get there without a fight. I thought this armor would be a good idea, but this isn't going to be the big thing. But this armor is going to help me because I don't have the best armor right now. I need 
need something to do a switch glitch. Oh, where's the goal? Oh, freaking he's wearing it. Ah. Spirit Robe has Fire, Thunder, and Holy Resist. Medusa Shield is really good. Uh, basically, really good armor. But, as you can see, it's hard to get here. You have to do fights, and the mobs are super tough. Let me just fast forward. Let me see if I got... We're going to finally get to the aha. You know, I've teased that a few times. So I question if I can do it with this armor. Forgot how I uh, got the money to do the armor uh, last time. Oh, because I was at Farm Town, I was able to warp out and then. I basically hopped all the way down here but instead if we just do the glitch immediately and have the money in advance we don't have to go to farm town we don't have to hop our way and roll our way through all this shit we can just go straight to bando what's that bando nothing or is there say what you come here uh at another time this does not happen. Uh, there's the preachers in there. You cannot go go through the wall. It is solid. I basically need to protect my little Ryu. Because he is squishy. Everyone is. Sure. Alright. Let's see if we can make it through here. So the the fights for the the paladin are not active. There's no trigger for them right now. Almost there. We're gonna hit another roadblock here though. The button doesn't work. And there's no holy shaman. I was like, damn. Damn, damn, damn. But, what's this? Snake staff? People, which are always here. More people, the next door should be the necromancer. Now, if you move on, I'll just end up showing you. I don't want... Sure, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, basically, what I was going to say is that the necromancer is not there. You can't fight them, so you can't move on the story. There's no flag there. Nothing in this room. Crimson Cloak? What's that? It turns out to be a very good item, and it has some elemental resist I don't know off the top of my head. But... Yeah, powerful armor. More people. Holy Shaman? 
Right after the whale? Say what? Oh, what can what can we do with that? Well, we can't get uh, Angel Nina. Oh, there was also a star shield in there by Mr. The Door. But this, the star shield's also very good. The township. So even though we can't get uh, uh, Angel Nina, as soon as we get the Wind Shaman, we would have access to that. But there is one fusion that you can gain. Which gives you the access to Chop. Chop uh, has a chance to uh, kill all enemies on screen, but it takes two turns, and he's slower than hell. But this might be able to power feed him Dinkers or power level him a little bit. Um, those are some options. I don't think Jean's necessarily the answer. I think maybe early access to Angel Nina. Which one of Angel Nina's abilities is to fly. And I'm wondering if as soon as we get the the Wind Shaman and we can uh, basically fuse her if the flag would be set to move the story where we would not have to go to Windia. I mean you're, you're pretty much there but You'd be able to skip Farm Town and Windia. That's the question I'm asking myself. Because if the game developers didn't program it for uh, Angel Nina to check the flag to see if she did the mark of the wing, because the game would, the makers would assume you're already there. That's a question. I have not played the game up to a point where. Uh, basically, I, I want to check it. So I did uh, MC Tusk and. Uh, the flakes did not change, like none of the story progressed. So I kind of had access to Farm Town, which is one advantage that I don't have in this particular run. Let me show you a different save state where I, I went to Farm Town and I walked my way down. That uh, must be this one. So this run, I actually did go to that vendor I was talking about. I got the Medusa Shield. The brave armor. I bought some spirit robes just kind of play around with. Uh, the star shield, that's what I missed in uh, the tunnel. The thunder GL uh, has thunder present uh, prevention type. I just bought for Google. Or, yeah, Google. That key can feed ran up there. Anywho. Where was I going with that? Oh, that's right, blue. So blue has access to farm town. But again, after doing MC Tusk, the story hasn't progressed. Uh, Daisy's not here. But I'm kind of wondering... Uh, I'm going to do this in order. I'm going to go do the next plot, which is uh, get Spar... I guess I haven't done MC Tusk. I was going to give him the money, get Spar, check to see if Daisy's here. If not, do the next thing, which is talk to the flu. And just do each story plot and see what triggers uh, if Daisy will come uh, early. If not, if I get the Wind Shaman, the goal is to see if Nina can fly in her angel form and uh, bypass some of the story. And then if not, uh, I think the glitch, unless it can be done consistently and found out uh, how to do it consistently, it just, no one's going to want to do four hours into the speed run, uh, just for that little benefit. But yeah, shamanized Jean and shamanized uh, Nina early. That's what I'm looking to. 
but we need to figure out how to get the out-of-bounds glitch to be uh, consistent. So that's all I wanted to show and explain, and uh, that that was the fruit I found, was mainly uh, Bondo. And even if I didn't find Bondo, I was pretty excited about just getting the war point to farm town and seeing at one point would the story progress. Oh, that's one thing I could show. Da, 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 da. One thing I thought that might be at work and it didn't was I thought if you came to uh, Fog Valley from the other side, that made the story would progress. But it didn't work that way. It just. It's just the way it normally is. The guy doesn't say anything like, hey, why are you here? He just. Like, this fog's thick. Oh, wow. We're bone. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So. That's it! Uh, sorry it was long and drawn out. Uh, that's what I came up with, but from, from now on I'm just going to focus on the any percent run. I've been watching some other streamers and taking notes, but I had these ideas in my head and I had to try them out, so... Yeah. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, have any ideas, hit me up on Discord or leave a comment. Uh, if you're watching this from YouTube. Y'all have a good one. Peace.